Hello there guys, so glad you could make it to the newest episode of Star Wars Comics, and today we journey back to when one of the most prolific Jedi Masters in the Order was still young and learning the ways of the Force. We all know Mace Windu as this passive-aggressive Jedi, but one of the most frustrating and angry moments he had in his life was during his Padawan days when both him and his master Sislin Meyer traveled to the planet Mothas, a planet whose inhabitants were suffering from the Niflin Plague and furthermore the disappearance of Jedi Master Kez Velos. He was chosen to oversee the outreach program in the temple on Mathas. Both of these reasons made it imperative that the Jedi Order send someone over to investigate. Hence a young, definitely not bald, Mace Windu is sent together with his master. As soon as they arrive, the effects of the plague could be seen. People were being carried out left and right and it was obvious that this area was was in pain from illness. Master Meyer goes on to explain that the mysterious Niflin Plague was such that it attacks the respiratory system over a long period of time, however it only afflicts those born on this world and not visitors. Something was wrong from the start. In fact, Windu himself was aware of how much these people were in pain and his master shared the same sentiment. They finally approached the temple that the Jedi built and appointed their own Jedi Master to oversee the area which as we discussed earlier in the video, he mysteriously disappeared without any trace and now the temple was overtaken by Druze, who claimed to be a Jedi prophet and a healer on the planet Mathas sometime after the Jedi Order established the Outreach Temple on the world. He was able to amass a following of believers in the Force, having promised to cure their afflictions brought on by the Niflin Plague. So because of this, the Order sent the two Jedi with instructions to apprehend hand Druze as well as to investigate the disappearance of Jedi Master Kaz Velos. Already Master Meyer sensed that Windu's anger was taking over. She expressed her wishes for him to control that emotion, telling the Padawan that while the emotion itself is not inherently wrong, it is her job to help him temper it, precisely why she took Windu in this quest. Upon entry, they quickly learn how despicable Druze really is and how he has swindled the people of Mathas for his own personal gain. When confronted by the real Jedi, Druze yells out that Master Kez had abandoned them months ago and now only he was the true master of Mathas. Proclaiming that they were heretics, he ordered everyone to kill Meyer and Windu. And in that heap of mess, Druze threw a grenade which would slow down the Jedi while he made his escape. Meyer, however, was not about to let that happen. She ordered and yelled at her apprentice to track down the imposter since Windu wanted to stay and help. As the Padawan was running, some Gamorrean guards suddenly appear in his way. Big mistake. Windu, using only his fighting skills, took down all three Gamorrean guards used by the imposter. However, in this distraction, Druze was able to injure Windu in the shoulder with a blaster pistol he had obtained. While Windu was just biding his time, Druze went on a rant about how the Jedi wasted their religion and faith with notions of peace when they could have everything just like him even call the Jedi idiotic. At that moment, Windu grabbed his pistol and knocked him to the ground. While pointing his purple lightsaber at him, he vowed to not let him abuse anyone ever again as he prepared to finish him. Witnessing this, his master loudly ordered Windu to stop. This is not the way to handle it. When Mace Windu exclaimed of all the lies that this man had spewed and corrupted everything that they had cherished, Meyer explained to Windu that while she understands his frustration, killing him won't be the answer. First, they need to extract the location of Master Velas, and then he will stand trial and atone for his mistakes. As much as Windu wanted to, he knew that Master Meyer was right. With a grim in his face, he elected to do exactly as his master had planned. Still, after all that, it is disappointing to see that Windu had still not really learned or remembered his master's advice. He must stand trial. He has control of the Senate and the courts. He's too dangerous to be left alive. I'm too weak. Oh, don't kill me, please. It's not the Jedi way. He must live. Please don't. I need him. 
I guess in the heat of the moment, anyone could be overtaken by anger, even Jedi Masters such as Mace Windu. This will be the end of this episode, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would like to thank you for the support, and if you have any thoughts about this video or any other topics regarding Star Wars, then feel free to let me know down in the comments. I would love to discuss it with you guys. You're the best. Thank you. And lastly, may the Force be with you always.